acting out your frustration just say a word keep on staring at the pavement god knows who hurts Good morning guys welcome to today's what I eat in a day you saw that I've already had a pretty busy morning I actually went to the gym as you saw drove there this time because I am now doing two days of structured cardio which basically means that I have to go on an elliptical go in a pool a bike a treadmill rather than just walking seven days a week I now have to do with 30 minutes of structured cardio elevating my heart rate above 125. So today I got on the elliptical, did the elliptical and then lifted my weights. I was at the gym for well over an hour. And I will say, I will say I would rather walk outside than on an elliptical. That half of an hour felt much, much longer than my 40 minute, one hour walks that I take outside. But I'm following my fitness coach's regimen, which is two days a week of structured cardio. And then the other four or five days a week, I can walk outside, which you know is my favorite. I'm still lifting weights and doing strength training three days a week and as I've gotten more into it I'm liking it a little bit more I much prefer my walks outside but I know that strength training is so incredibly important so I've come to terms with it and I'm doing it three days a week and we're going to make breakfast I have a new breakfast that I have been obsessed with my friend Amy actually gave me the recipe for it and I modified it a little bit to make it better into my points my calories my macros and I'm really excited to share it with you guys I'm also going to show you the fiber powder that you saw me add to my coffee this morning I've been using it now for a couple weeks and I'm absolutely loving it so I'll share that with you guys so editing Jen here I totally forgot to share with you guys the fiber supplement that I put into my coffee every morning I've actually been using it now for a few weeks weeks and I've been loving it. So I wanted to test it out before I shared it with you guys and then I totally forgot to show it to you. So this is the fiber supplement that I've been using. This is from the brand Just Better. It is a prebiotic supplement. It says fiber up and slim down. So one tablespoon has 10 calories, zero fat, zero pretty much of everything with the exception of six carbohydrates and five grams of fiber. So each tablespoon has five grams of fiber. You can have one to two tablespoons per day. I put one tablespoon in my coffee and it gives me five grams of fiber. You should be shooting for about 25 grams of fiber per day as a woman and about 30 grams of fiber per day as a man. So it says fiber up and slim down, fill full faster, stay full longer, helps boost your fiber, fiber, reduce cholesterol. So it is soluble fiber, decreases your bad cholesterol, the LDL, which is 100% True, and all that is in here is non-GMO soluble corn fiber. That is it. And then down at the bottom here, it says non-GMO, vegan, gluten, and wheat-free, egg-free, soy-free, nothing artificial, and food map friendly. It's fantastic. A little bit of a warning, a little TMI warning here. So if TMI things bother you, skip past this part. But one of the great benefits of adding this Just Fiber supplement 
is you're much more regular. And sometimes when we're in a calorie deficit, I actually hear this a lot with Weight Watchers members, going number two is kind of hard and you can get backed up and constipated and this will definitely keep everything very regular. Since I've been using this, I am 100% regular and I just feel better overall. I do, it definitely helps keep me full a little bit longer from my coffee and I love that there's five grams of fiber per tablespoon. It dissolves perfectly in coffee. No chunkiness, nothing. That's what I was finding with the Garden of Life Biotic. It would get clumpy in my coffee. It didn't dissolve very well. And then I heard about this brand and it dissolves perfectly also in cold. So you could throw this into a smoothie or a protein shake, add a scoop to a packaged protein shake and shake it up. It's just a really good way to get in fiber. So I'll go ahead and link just better down below. I have a couple of new home things coming my way today that I'll share with you. And then we're actually going to go out and about a little bit. I just joined Sam's Club mainly because I want to be able to buy protein shakes and my Costco here really doesn't have anything but Premier. And I heard that Sam's Club has Fair Life, as well as maybe some other options. And we never had a Sam's Club in Washington. So I joined, so we're gonna go there today. And I'm really excited because Sam's Club is two miles from Trader Joe's. So we're gonna go to Trader Joe's too today. So we have lots and lots to do. I have really good recipes to share with you. I'm excited for tonight's dinner recipe. So lots and lots of good stuff in store today. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because we do what I eat in a days every Wednesday and I upload five videos per week. I'll link nutrition coaching down in the description box. I've been getting a lot of questions about macros and calories. Highly recommend having yours done personalized to you to help you reach your goals. That's what I did for myself and that's how I've been able to lose over 110 pounds. That's been a big contributing factor. And I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. If you need some accountability or you wanna talk with me directly, I have that as well. Links and discounts to everything I share with you today and my Facebook group, come join us there, is also down in that description box. So I'm gonna finish the last little bit of my protein coffee and we'll make some breakfast. So I'm going to make some breakfast and I wanted to share with you guys the oatmeal recipe that my friend Amy gave me. It has been my go-to the last few days. It's a great, healthy oatmeal that's packed with protein and you know how close protein is to my heart. I do have a protein goal every single day. And the fact that I worked out this morning, this is going to be a great boost of healthy carbohydrates, slow digesting carbs. That'll keep me nice and full. We're going to add some superfoods to our oatmeal and a big pack of protein. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I put together my oatmeal. So first you're going to need oats. I'm going to use rolled oats. Sometimes I use quick cook steel cut oats, really whatever oats you have on hand. You want one quarter cup. And then we're going to add three quarters of a cup of water. We want our oats a little runny, even after they're cooked, because we're adding so much stuff to them, which will thicken them up. And then I pop my oats in the microwave for one to two minutes or until they're cooked through. So you can see that my oats are still really runny, but the oatmeal itself is actually cooked through. So now I'm going to add a scoop of whatever protein powder you have on hand. I actually shared this on my Instagram. I found this protein powder at the 99 cent store. So not the Dollar Tree, but the 99 cent store. The ingredients in this are super, super clean. It is two scoops for 120 calories and 20 grams of protein protein, which is absolutely incredible. I did have this protein powder in my oats yesterday. It's really good. I mean, really, really good. I will link it down below. I did do a little research, went on their website, and they do sell it directly on their website. You guys, it's so incredibly delicious. I highly recommend. So I'm adding one scoop to my oats, and I'm going to mix that in. The brand is Integrated Supplements. I've actually never heard of the brand, but it's nice clean ingredients. They also had vanilla protein powder. I may actually go back and grab that as well. At the 99 cent store, this does expire in August. So if you don't think you could use it up by the end of August, you can always order it on their website or if you don't have the 99 cent store, but I highly recommend. Then we're going to add one teaspoon of chia seeds, one teaspoon of flax meal, not flax seed, but flax meal. So it's already kind of ground up. 
And then lastly, we're adding two teaspoons of our favorite nut butter. You guys already know I'm obsessed with American Dream nut butter. I really like this Yabba Dabba Delicious. This is one of their peanut butters. They sell, they have almond butter and cashew butter as well. But for some reason, this one is just really, really good in this particular oatmeal. So we're going to add two teaspoons of nut butter and then stir that all together. And I'm telling you, this is literally the best oatmeal that I've ever had. I think it's the mix of the protein powder and then that nut butter that's added. And then we have some superfoods like flaxseed and chia seed. It is so good and so incredibly filling. So I will go ahead and put points and calories on the screen for my version of the oatmeal. That of course is going to change based on your zero point foods and what you add to the oatmeal, but highly recommend. I'll, I'll also go ahead and pop up how much protein is in this here on the screen for you so you get an idea that oatmeal can not only be a great carbohydrate, but a great source of protein. I'm telling you, so good. The best oatmeal combination ever. I will make sure that American Dream Nut Butter is linked down below with 10% off for you. I actually really like their nut butter and they have less points and calories than traditional nut butter and you get all these fun mix-ins like cookies and candies and crunchy bits. It's so incredibly good. I actually just ordered three more jars. So I have quite the addiction to American Dream Nut Butter and I love it in this oatmeal. So I can warrant the addiction a little bit better, but I highly recommend this oatmeal and of course the American Dream Nut Butter. So as promised, I wanted to share with you guys a couple of new goodies that we got for our new house. And I, when I say I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with these. I love everything about them, the aesthetics, the functionality. I love them. What I picked up is from the brand good pick and they are basically a home home product company they have products for the bedroom the living room the nursery the laundry room and the kitchen they have fantastic ratings and really affordable prices i had to pick up a couple of different items from their bedroom line they have these beautiful woven rope type of baskets you see these at stores like tj maxx and you can find them at even high-end stores like Bed Bath & Beyond and Nordstrom and Macy's and Good Picks are much better quality and far more affordable. And these are all the rage right now. These little baskets that you can use for storage, the big baskets that you can put blankets in or your baby's toys or baby's clothes. And most importantly, or most exciting for me are the baskets that are used as hampers. The the laundry basket that I picked up, the gray and white one that I shared in my home tour, my husband doesn't love it. So I was really excited when I saw that these are a little bit more his style. They're a little more aesthetically pleasing and the laundry hamper that I picked up is absolutely gorgeous, super high quality and great for functionality. So I have the large jute laundry basket woven clothes hamper. You can pick a lot of these products up off of the Good Pick website. They even have them on Amazon as well. Of course, I'll link everything down below for you. The material is 100% natural cotton and jute rope. It has some really pretty earth toned colors. We have camel, brown, black, jute, white, and then a mixture of different browns. It's 25.6 inches high and 19.3 inches around, and it only weighs about four and a half pounds. So even full of clothes, it's really easy to tote around, especially if you have to go up and down stairs or walk relatively far to your washer and dryer. It's a large capacity that's perfect for not only laundry, but you can store clothes in there, towels, toys, blankets, bedding, and more. It's perfect for your laundry room, your bedroom, playroom, living room, nursery room, bathroom, family room, storage, and for decoration. So it's beautiful to look at if you have to leave it out or if it's in a space that when people come over, they see it. Ours is in our master closet, so nobody really sees it, but it just looks really nice in there and just goes with the whole aesthetic of our house. The other product that I decided to pick up is for my spare bedroom. So right now we just have all of our spare blankets and suitcases and bags that we pack in, my Buff Bunny backpack just thrown on the floor in the closet. It. So I grabbed the extra, extra, extra large cotton rope storage basket. This was such a great price. I mean, far more affordable than any store I've ever seen it at for how large as it is. I've seen the really small baskets that maybe hold a blanket or a couple of pieces of clothing for the same price as this extra large one. This particular one is 100% natural cotton rope. It is brown and white in color. The dimensions are 21.7 inches by 21.7 inches by 13.8 inches and it weighs just about 3.55 pounds. It's large enough to store pillows, clothes, blankets, comforters, cushions, 
kids toys, bedding, and more. And it provides you with lots of extra storage space that looks really nice wherever you end up putting it. It's perfect for the laundry room, bedroom, playroom, living room, nursery room, bathroom, family room, and of course for storage and decoration. You can reshape it the same way as we did with the laundry basket. It does come folded and you can hand wash this or machine wash or machine wash it. Just again, make sure you put it in a laundry bag before throwing it into the washer. The big basket is less than $28, which was such an affordable price. I'm even considering picking up a couple other baskets. And of course they don't just sell baskets. That is the big bulk of the products that they sell. There's so many options. They even have the small ones for storage, like in a closet or a pantry or in a linen closet. They also sell a bamboo food storage bag organizer. This is really cool. I actually have one of these and you can put all your different Ziploc bags in there and it fits nicely in a kitchen drawer and just makes it really easy to grab out your Ziploc bag. And then they also have a large bread box that is wood that can sit on the counter in your kitchen and I love, love, love this. I actually almost picked this up too. I'm a sucker for a bread box. When I was showing houses a lot in Washington and they had built-in bread boxes, it just was nostalgic and just made me really happy and I always wanted a bread box. And since we don't have one, this is a product I'll probably pick up down the road as well. Super affordable, really nice quality. And those are just a couple of the other items that you can find on the Good Pick website. I will make sure that I link the Good Pick website down below for you, as well as the laundry hamper and the large basket that I picked up if you want to just shop directly what I bought. But I encourage you to look around the website because there are some really beautiful products. And like I said, I can't believe how amazingly affordable these products are. So I'm gonna pack up some water before I head out. I shared these with you guys in my nutrition haul, these little 4C water enhancers. There's wildberry pomegranate, cranberry pomegranate, fruit punch, and lemonade. These are so good. I actually buy these off Nutrition, which is the same website that I get my fiber gourmet pasta. So I've been loving these. You can see that I've went through quite a few of them. So I am going to add one to my Lululemon water bottle. I've also been sharing this a lot because hands down, this is the best water bottle. I'll link it down below for you. I'll link nutrition for you. So today let's do wild berry pomegranate. I'm on my way to Sam's Club. It says it's 20 miles away, 29 minutes, which I'm assuming I'll get there a little bit faster than that. The good thing about where we live in relation to Tucson is it's all interstate. So it usually goes even a little bit faster than the nav says that it's gonna go. In addition to bringing my water bottle, I grabbed one of my NYX sticks. These are delicious, delicious, delicious. I buy these off of Amazon. I find that they truly have the least expensive price for them. You actually get both sticks in the pack for 75 calories, 10 grams of protein. What I really love about these is all the protein for the calories and the points, and they are very easy to take with you. So you can keep them in your desk drawer, in your car, in your purse, and it's just a really good way to get in some protein. So I brought one of these too, and I have a sneaking suspicion we may grab coffee at Dunkin' while we're in Tucson as well. We may be in the line at Duncan. I realized there was one really close to Sam's Club, literally like a mile away, so I decided to pick up some more coffee. I'm feeling like I need a little bit of a pick-me-up post-workout. I have coffee, I'm so happy. So I did a medium iced original Americano with three shots of sugar-free toasted almond, two stevia, two cream, add a shot of espresso, so good. And actually today we got an extra 100 points with a pickup order. So I think I have a free Dunkin' coffee waiting for me. This is really, really good. All right, first stop is protein bars and protein shakes. They have way more options than Costco. I did see some Fairlife ones, but look at all the Atkins bars too. I mean, they have so many protein shake and protein bar options. So they have the Fit Crunch bars and they have Built bars, which actually are cheaper on the website with my discount, which I'll put down in the description box for you. But I did spot these. So they have the Quest peanut butter cups and these are so good, you guys. I mean, so good, like Reese's peanut butter cups. And they have 11 grams of protein and less than one gram of sugar. It's $22.48 for the box. It looks like they just have the Core Power Elite. 42 grams of protein and 230 calories. I think I'm gonna pick up a pack just to try it. I've never actually tried the Elite. 
it's like kinder season heaven here oh my gosh they literally have everything you guys they have the einstein brothers everything but the bagel for four dollars and so many seasonings i feel like a lot more than costco and some different seasonings than costco i have never seen this before twix shakers and it's 15 calories you could put this on yogurt i mean you could really add this to anything i'm not going to get it but i thought that it was pretty interesting these are really, really great snacks. These little tuna snack packs. They have crackers and everything. You can take them with you on the go. I wanted to show you guys they have Zevia here. Look at all the different flavors. It's a 30 pack and it's only $17, which is a great deal. I also wanted to show you guys this almond milk. It's a two pack for $5.38. 30 calories, unsweetened vanilla. Super good deal. How good does this look? I am not getting it, but look at that. Thing I, one more thing I want to point out, these turkey sticks, $13.98. And these are like 70 calories, I think. These are really, really low in points and high in protein. Sam's Club was quite the success. I'll actually be sharing what I picked up at Sam's Club and what I'm going to be picking up at Trader Joe's. I can't tell you how excited I am to go to Trader Joe's, but I'm at Sam's Club getting gas because it's only $4.59 a gallon here, which is 30 to 40 cents less than anywhere else. So I might as well get some gas while I'm here. I'm really excited to be in Trader Joe's for the first time since moving to Arizona. Seriously, cannot wait to see all the new stuff that they have. I had a serving of these Mexican street corn tortilla chips. I got these at Sam's Club. OMG, are these incredibly delicious. I literally had to put the bag in the back seat because I was going a little crazy and eating a little more than a serving. But I had this and my meat stick and then when we get home, we'll have some lunch. It says limited time. So if you have a Sam's Club, grab them before they're gone because they're incredible. So for lunch today, I'm home. I actually just got home, put away all the groceries, filmed them for Saturday. So stay tuned for what I got at Sam's Club and Trader Joe's. This is my meal prep that I made for the week. I make one the night before and that way everything's still nice and fresh in the wrap. But this, these are my turkey pinwheels. Million out of 10, they are so good. And then I just pair them with some fresh strawberries. It truly is the perfect lunch love 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 so that is what i'm having for lunch and i'm still sipping on my water that i brought with me because i had coffee too so i'm going to finish up that 32 ounce jug of water with lunch so i decided to try out the misfits market so this is kind of like imperfect foods but the big difference with this box is it's actually all organic everything which i thought was really nice and i will say that i noticed that the prices were very similar to Imperfect Foods, but again, everything's organic. So I ordered a box, I found a really good discount online, I'll link all the information for you, but they basically do the same thing. They help eliminate food waste by giving us a really good deal on maybe produce that isn't perfect looking, but still just as good a quality as the store. So I'm really excited to dig into my first box. So here's what the box looks like. There is like this plastic coated insulation and it surrounds the entire box. There is an ice pack. It is cold, but not frozen. Oh, I guess it's partially frozen, but it is 104 here. So that kind of makes sense. And then there are all of your goodies nicely packed in. I feel like this is packed really well where things don't shift around a lot. So the first thing I grabbed are these all natural pet snacks. These are sweet potato chips. Look at that. It's actually just a dried sweet potato. My dogs are going to love those and they were a really good price. This is actually really nice. So I bought a pack of blueberries and look how it's packaged. That way it doesn't open up in transit. I was having that issue with Imperfect Foods. They've remedied it though. They rubber band it closed, but this is actually really nice. And here are the blueberries. And remember all of the produce is organic. And then the strawberries nicely packaged as well. I actually really, really like that. That way they don't come smushed or open. So I grabbed a pack of organic strawberries. I've also been loving berries lately, raspberries, blackberries, strawberries. So I grabbed a couple more packs. This was something that I thought looked pretty interesting. So this is from the brand Freak Flag Organics. It's broccoli and cheese mac and freak, which is basically like mac and cheese, but it has broccoli in it already. So I thought that that would be a really quick, easy lunch. You could throw some protein in there. So I'm really excited to try it. If it's good, I'll order more next time. And then I've been loving putting fresh mint in my water with cucumbers or lemons. Really good price for organic herbs. So this was another really interesting thing. This is from the brand Go Nanas. This is their original instant banana bread. 
This bread is bananas. Requires one banana and is ready in three minutes. So it's 170 calories and literally you just mix the banana in with this packet and you have banana bread. So I was excited to try that. I thought we maybe Troy and I could share it and see if it's any good. And then I picked up some produce, two yellow zucchini. We are having my in-laws over for a barbecue on Saturday, so I thought we could grill this with regular zucchini. I guess this is squash, yellow squash on our Blackstone grill. And then I grabbed two Japanese sweet potatoes. I don't know if these are the ones that are purple inside, but I've heard really good things about the Japanese sweet potatoes. And last but not least, I did pick up an organic English cucumber. I love cucumbers. And again, organic, you can't beat it for the price. So I did place a little bit smaller order. I just wanted to test the service out. And I have to say, I am pretty impressed and the prices were really, really good. So I'll link Misfits Market down below for you with any discount that I can find. We're gonna give them one of those little sweet potato treats that I just unboxed in my Misfits Market. We'll see if they like them. They're kind of pigs, so I'm sure that they will. Oh, Diesel. Oh, he has to sniff it first. Oh. Is he gonna eat it? He's the pickiest one, by far. Palmer loves food, just like Lola. Easy, buddy. Oh, buddy, look at that. And she loves food, so I know she'll eat it. Good girl, Lola. Diesel, it's still in his mouth. Are you gonna eat it? Hey, you, are you gonna eat it? So I'm going to have an afternoon snack, and it's my normal afternoon snack that I've been having pretty much every single day, and that is one of the Sprouts Organic Brown Rice Cakes. I like these because they're only 25 calories. They're organic, they have really nice clean ingredients, and they're really just the perfect size. And I ordered the special flavor of the month or season from American Dream Nut Butter. This is an almond butter base, and it is squeeze of the day. So it's like a lemon almond butter, and I know that that might sound weird, but I have lots of friends that have purchased this, and they love it. it has seven and a half grams of protein per serving, 5.6 carbs, and 11.8 grams of fat. It's 166 calories for two tablespoons, and I'm really excited to try this out. You guys know I love lemon anything. It smells super lemony when I open it up, and you can see all the mix-ins. It looks like little lemon cookies and like pie crust in there. This looks so good. So I want 14 grams total, which is one tablespoon. I feel like that's plenty to spread over the rice cake. I like this one because it is a little bit smaller, so you don't have to use as much nut butter to spread over it. And I'm having a string cheese for some added protein. So that is my snack let's taste test for the first time, the nut butter. It smells so lemony, so good. It's lemony, super lemony, which isn't weird with the almond butter. I don't know how they did it, but it's actually really good. And these little crunchy bits are lemon pieces and cookies. Definitely grab the squeeze the day. As I mentioned when I made my breakfast, I'll link American Dream Nut Butter down below with 10% off. What was that? <laughs> what was that again? <laughs> For dinner tonight, I am making homemade black bean burritos. These are supposed to be the best black bean burritos. I'm pretty excited about this. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need some salt. Now, I have my salt and pepper shakers out because I'm really excited to share my new salt and pepper shakers with you. These are literally the coolest things ever. So I pulled out the pepper too, but we need some salt for the recipe. You'll need two to three cans of black beans, fresh cilantro, a one point tortilla of your choice. I'm just using the La Tortilla Factory low carb tortillas, a red bell pepper, a red onion, and some one third less fat cream cheese. So the first thing I need to do is chop up the cilantro, chop up some red onion, and chop up some red bell pepper. So the first thing we're going to do is add in the red bell pepper and our onion to our skillet and we're going to cook it for about five minutes until they start to soften. While the veggies are cooking, I have five of my low carb tortillas. I'm just going to wrap them in some foil, throw them into a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes or so. That's just going to allow them to warm through. Our veggies are looking really good. We're going to go ahead and add in the black beans. So I have two cup, two cans of black beans drained and rinsed. We're going to add those to the bell pepper and onion and allow it to cook for about another five minutes. 
While the beans are warming through, we are going to add some salt. Look at these salt and pepper shakers. So they're really, really nice looking. I did buy some really good quality Himalayan pink salt off of Amazon as well. But check these out. All you do is flip it over and it automatically grinds your salt. And the same thing with the pepper. Look at that. Look at the blue. That is just so cool and it automatically grinds it. Seriously makes my heart happy and it's just so, they're so easy to use. Again, I picked these up off of Amazon. They were super affordable. I'll actually link the salt and pepper shakers and the salt and pepper. I'm obsessed with these. Now I'm going to add in six ounces of the one third less fat cream cheese. We wanna stir that in and allow it to melt and make everything nice and creamy. I did go ahead and reduce my heat a little bit as well now that the vegetables are cooked through and the black beans are warmed. As the cream cheese is melting, I'm going to add in some cilantro as well and stir that in. Make sure that while everything's melting and finishing cooking that you're stirring constantly. Super easy to assemble these burritos. Take your warmed tortilla. We're going to put one fifth of the black bean mixture in the middle. I have a feeling, I have to say, that I bet you this makes more than five servings only because our tortillas aren't the big like eight inch tortillas. So we're gonna shoot for five, but let's see if we have any of the bean mixture left over, which isn't a big deal. We can just eat it by itself or we could make some additional burritos as well. So there are five burritos. You can see that there's a little bit of the bean mixture left. I mean, not enough for another burrito. So what I'll do is probably just put a dollop on top of each burrito and then we'll garnish it with a little of a little extra cilantro. I have some leftover frozen broccoli in the fridge that we're gonna have as our side dish. These actually look really good, nice and creamy. And heads up, this is a vegetarian recipe, which is really exciting. So here's my dinner. This actually looks so good. I will say that I tasted the bean mixture and it is so delicious. It has so much flavor and that cream cheese just makes it kind of like a refried bean consistency, but better. It's just really, really good. I can't wait to have this tonight. So I have one of the best black bean burritos. It is five points. Not bad at all. Now your points may vary based on beans being a zero point food for you, but just click the link on my re website and it'll calculate it into your points. And then of course some broccoli for zero points. So this is tonight's dinner. I have a new bar that I wanna share with you guys. I actually heard about these at the convention that I went to in Florida and I reached out to the company and asked if they could give me a discount code for you guys and send me some bars to share because they're really good and there's a fun little air fryer hack with these bars that I'm going to share with you. So I don't know if you've heard of these before, but these were new to me. These are the dive bars. They are a protein bar and they have a little bit different texture. They kind of remind me of the Quest bars a little bit. So there's an air fryer trick that you can do that actually makes these into cookies, similar to what you do with the Quest bar. So they sent me a bunch of flavors. This particular one has 16 grams of protein and seven grams of fiber. It does have 90 milligrams of caffeine. Actually, all of the dive bars have caffeine in them. So they're a really good midday pre-workout, post-workout, or in the mid-afternoon slump because they do have that little bit of caffeine. But this is drunk, Dump Truck Brownie. And then I have Divorce Cake, Tutti Fruity Cereal, Do It All for the Brookie. I think this is the one that I want to have tonight. Mississippi Mud Pie, Salted Caramel, Trash Can Cookie. This one's really good. This is the one I tried at the convention. And then Megan's Sugar Daddy Cookie. This one also is really, really good. I will go ahead and put points, calories, all that good stuff here on the screen for you. I'll link Dive Bar down below with a discount code. I think for dessert tonight, yes, I'm having this for dessert. We're going to do it all for the Brookie and I'm gonna show you that fun little air fryer hack. But I love these, love, love, love them. They're such a great bar. So don't forget they'll be linked down below with a discount. So the little hack with these, you're going to open up the dive bar. Here is what it looks like. Like I said, it does kind of have that Quest bar look to it. And then you're going to chop it up. I like to chop mine up into about four pieces, like four equal pieces. 
And then we're going to pop those four pieces into our air fryer. So just put them in your basket. We'll pop our air fryer will set it to 400 and we'll keep our eye on these. It depends on your air fryer how long it's going to take, but what's going to happen is these are going to puff up and basically create a cookie. And I love the texture of them in the cookie form because it actually tastes like a cookie. Now this texture isn't bad at all. I eat them like this all the time, but making them into cookies makes my heart so happy. So here are the cookies. So you can see that they puffed up and they basically cooked to a cookie consistency. So I'm gonna put these on a plate. We'll break one open and I'll show you what they look like. Best way to eat these. So my suggestion would be also to make sure you spray the bottom of your air fryer so that they don't stick, but they actually even have that cookie consistency in the middle of it. I mean, it literally looks and tastes like little chocolate chip or birthday cake or whatever dye bar flavor you use. Cookies, super, super good. And you're getting in lots and lots of protein. So again, everything will be linked down below for you. I did cook these on 400 for maybe five minutes. Just keep an eye on it because again, it does depend on your air fryer. So I just got out of the shower and just finished up my dessert. You can see my water bottle back there. I've got about that much left before I finish my water for the day. And I wanted to pop on really quick and thank you for watching today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food, the new recipes. And don't forget those bean burritos, which by the way are really, really good, are on my website. I'll make sure that's linked down below for you. I'll also link everything from Good Pick, Dive Bar, everything we talked about today will be linked down in the description box for you. So if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on because I do a What I Eat in a Day every Wednesday and I upload five videos per week. Again, check out the description box for the links. Nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. And lastly, don't forget, follow me over on Instagram and join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.